Oh snap! I am back on Instagram Live. I am doing another movie library shelf for my continuing series, my movie collection, colon, library shelves overview. This is shelf number eight. How are you doing out there? Um, hoping you're enjoying your summer as I'm trying to. Um, the Paul of right now in the uh, alternate universe parallel timeline would be sitting in a movie theater right now enjoying uh, a pick from the Fantasia Film Festival but sadly it is not to be this year it's going to be online next month I can't wait to see how that's going to work out but uh, I'll, I'm going to be there I'm going to check all those movies out but anyway how about I show you shelf number eight I'm going to do that right now all right first movie is in the Mouth of Madness, John Carpenter, Do You Read Sutter Kane? So there you go, In the Mouth of Madness with the snapper case. Then we have Incendie, which is a Denis Villeneuve movie. This is the movie that um, I guess made him known around the world. Thanks to this movie, you got uh, Blade Runner 2049, the, the upcoming Dune. He, are, he is our uh, national hero for all the cinephiles here in uh, Quebec and a very talented man so there you go Insanzi then I have the steel book of Inception which is uh, celebrating its 10th year anniversary this month if not this week I believe I, uh, I saw this in uh, IMAX theater and actually it's, I think it's actually back in theaters because there's no movies to be shown new ones so they're showing this with a lot of uh, other uh, Christopher Nolan movies we're all waiting for Tenet to be released, but it won't be. So there you go. <laughs> Who doesn't have Independence Day in their collection? It's the limited edition. I don't know what the hell that means. I'm sure it's something, but uh, yeah, the sequel ain't worth shit. That was a piece of uh, piece of crap. Another piece of crap. Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. I have this in my collection because I am a completist and that is why it's there. Also, kind of, oh boy, kind of a cool lentica lenticular cover right here, right? So yeah, they're, they're thinking of doing number five. Why? I don't know. That's crazy business. The man is like 80 years old now, Harrison Ford. Up next, Inferno, the Arrow Video Steelbook. Uh, a very dirty one, apparently. There we go. So there you go. There, Argento. Inferno. Then a movie I cannot wait to check out. And I actually put this one on the thumbnail of this video. That is going to come out. Inframan. I uh, saw the trailer. Looks batshit crazy. Uh, I know there's... I don't know if there's like sequels or side movies to this. But I'm going to start with this one first. And then uh, I'm going to work my way up or down or whatever but uh, look at this look at this cover so yeah can we check out Inframan Quentin and Inglorious Bastards um, fine fine movie I don't know why I don't have the blu-ray of this but uh, and I need to rewatch it at some point in my life but uh, who doesn't like to see Nazis dying that's the perfect movie for it then we have the Initiation, which I believe is a slasher in the um, fraternity. I say I believe because I haven't seen it yet. But uh, there you go from Arrow Video, Initiation. A favorite of mine from Joe Dante, Inner Space. The really nice uh, steelbook. Look at this beautiful cover right here. Martin Short getting inside of uh, Dennis Quaid he just penetrates him just uh, he shrinks himself down and go inside him and then wackiness ensues so there you go then I have right here Innocent Blood uh, John Landis kind of a underseen movie I would say it's about a, a vampire in uh, Brooklyn and uh, a great performance by um, Robert Loggia it stars uh, Anthony LaPaglia and then uh, an Anne Perio, where she was hot for like a minute when she did the La Femme Nikita. Low this many years ago. Where is she now? I do not know. 
but is a fun movie to watch on Halloween. So more Christopher Nolan, this time Insomnia. Al Pacino, Robin Williams, Hilary Swank. I have not seen this movie. Why? Is it good? Tell me if it's good. So yeah, it's one I need to check out. I feel shame I haven't. Another vampire movie. Interview with the Vampire, The Vampire Chronicles. Look at this all-star cast with Tom Cruise as Lestat. Who knew he would be good in a, a vampire movie? People were up in arms when he was cast back in the day, but uh, you know, he did himself proud. Proud. <laughs> the great horror movie from the 70s, a remake, Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Uh, this is the, the steel book from Arrow Video. Um, I know that's uh, Leonard Nimoy, Jeff Goldblum, Donald Sutherland. I believe it's his birthday today. Happy birthday, sir, fellow Canadian. Um, yeah, and Philip Kaufman directed this beautiful, beautiful steel, steel book right here. And then we have, ooh, classic 80s action movie. Uh, this is 88 film release. Invasion USA, Chuck Norris. This movie is batshit crazy, full excess 80s action. Uh, probably at, at his most Chuck, at his most Norris he's ever been right here. I know there's a version Shout Factory release, but uh, I got this one right here. So there you go. Another Quebecois film director. That's pretty well known around the world as well. Uh, Denis Arca. And his movie, Le Déclin de l'Empire Américain, or The Decline of the American Empire, right here. And the sequel that uh, got him the uh, Best Picture Oscar for Best Foreign Film, the uh, Les Invasions Barbares, which is uh, the barbarian, barbarian Invasion. So there you go, right here. The first Iron Man, the ultimate to this DVD edition. I I know every, probably everyone else got the Blu-ray. I still got the DVD. I don't care. I'm not that into Marvel. But this movie, I really enjoyed. So I kept the DVD. A release from um, Umbrella Entertainment from Australia. Great Blu-ray label. The Island, Michael Caine. Fine, fine, fine movie. It's uh, adapted from uh, the um, novel by Peter Benchley, who wrote Jaws. Jaws. There you go. A movie where <clears throat> the documentary about the movie is probably better than the movie itself. The Island of Dr. Moreau. Marlon Brando, Val Kilmer. There you go. John Frankenheimer took over the movie. As you, as you may well know. There you go. Put it here. It, Stephen King, the miniseries. I actually saw this when it aired for the first time back in 1990, I believe. Yeah, who knew they would spawn a, a huge uh, remake? That first movie made, what, $800 million or something? But this one is just okay. It was great when I was a kid. When I rewatched it, not so much. But Tim Curry is the shit, so there you go. Another steelbook, this time It Follows, a, a film by David Robert Mitchell, great premise, uh, I'm sure everyone has seen this one, and there you go, some more Quentin, I'm, I'm actually like wiping out the top of every DVD because there are, there's so much, so much dust everywhere, Jackie Brown is homage to black, black exploitation uh, with the queen herself. Pam Greer, uh, great, probably one of my favorite of Quentin with Pulp Fiction. If I were to be honest, it's only because I'm a huge black exploitation fan. So, and I, I really need the the, the Blu-ray. I hope they release maybe another version, so I'll get on that. Then I have from Vinegar Syndrome, Jack Frost. And if I'm gonna if I'm gonna be honest here, I, I think I mostly bought this for the awesome. Awesome lenticular cover, one of the best one in my collection. They really work hard on that one. Look at this thing, so cool. But yeah, it's a uh, evil, frosty, the snowman, you know, type. 
a movie that uh, fucked me up as a as a child when I first saw it. Jacob's Ladder, really trippy, really uh, imaginative. Uh, this this gave me nightmares when I saw it. I was uh, what was I twelve, thirteen when I saw this. I uh, saw it a few years ago again, and uh, still effective. You know, it's, uh, it's uh, I don't know if anybody. I know they did like a, a remake of this last year. I, I I wouldn't even dare watch it. This is like untouchable. So there you go, Jade with uh, David Caruso when he was uh, hot shit for a minute back in like 1995 with NYPD Blue sort of a sexy thriller uh, that was uh, by William Friedkin of all people and uh, Joe Hesterhaus wrote this you know he of basic instinct uh, I have not seen it but it's in my collection so there you go so now let's go through all the Jaws I got Jaws 1 right here uh, didn't get the, the 4K yet. I may do so. Then we have Jaws 2. Look at this. Look at this thing. Beautiful. Then we have Jaws 3. In 3D. I actually watched it 3D on this one. And it's it's alright. It was fun. It was fun. It was a fun watch. And then Jaws, <laughs> Jaws for the Revenge. So, such lunacy in this movie. It just... Uh, they really... They, they really pushed it on this one. So there you go. Jaws. All the Jaws. And then uh, what about Jane Silent Bob Strikes Back? I got the fat Dimension Collector Series uh, version of this. Look at this. Uh, funny when I saw it in theaters. Low these many years ago. I have not seen the uh, sequel that came out last year. I'm sure it sucked. But you know. There you go. Then probably... If not his best movie, one of his best, uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme in JCVD, where he uh, acted his uh, heart out in this one. Um, the speech he gives right in the middle of the movie, where it's basically much him talking about how hard he had it as a, an actor. And, uh, you know, that it's, it's not that easy, really. Like, you could see, like, the emotions coming out through the screen. So, uh Hey, what's up, everyone? Uh, so, yeah, great, great movie. If you haven't seen it, if you want to know more about The Man. A great little forgotten thriller from, I believe, 1991. That's Jennifer 8 with Andy Garcia and uh, Uma Turman, who plays a blind woman. Um, it's great who done it. Um, and there you go, right here. It's so underseen and unappreciated that I, I saw it in theaters, but I... I, I need to rewatch this because I barely remember. <laughs> it's about I remember it was good. So there you go. Then we have The Jerk, the 26 year anniversary edition. Because of course, uh, with Steve Martin, I, I believe that was the movie that uh, put him on the maps. Like right before, like he did all, um, you know, his giant concert, comedy concert. That was like the first one he did. And Carl Reiner, may he rest in peace, died. Uh, a couple weeks ago, there you go. Up next, I have right here JFK, the two day special edition. Kevin Costner, uh, you know, who hasn't seen JFK, probably Oliver Stone's masterpiece. That with Natural Bone Killer, I'd say they're on par, just uh, masterful filmmaking. Then we have Joe versus the Volcano, Tom Hanks. Probably one of the lesser talked about movies of Tom Hanks' career, especially in the comedy world. It's an odd little, it's an odd little gem. Then we have an MTV movie. Oh, it's stuck, damn it. There you go. Snapper case. They always get stuck when you get them out. Joel's Apartment. I believe this was uh, like a short film or like short uh, little uh, sketches on MTV and then they turned into a movie. And... Uh, <clears throat> Starring for Jerry O'Connell and Megan Ward, Where Is She Today? She was in so many, so many of my favorite 90s comedies. PCU, for one, which was going to come out uh, a bit later in the shelves, but not this one, but some, somewhere else. How about uh, Nova Media's version of John Wick, right here? Korean Blu-ray label. They do crazy releases when it comes to like steelbooks and stuff. But I wasn't quick enough to buy the steelbook, so I got the regular version, but it still looks cool. I need to buy two and three. 
Then we have Johnny Be Good comedy with uh, Anthony Michael Hall, Robert Downey Jr. Again with Uma Turman back in action. Um, yeah, fun little football movie, high school football movie. Then we have Johnny Dangerously, Michael Keaton, a movie that uh, spans in the, what was it, like in the third, a gangster film from the 30s? I have not seen this one. I could say I have not seen a Michael Keaton movie from the 80s, and I can't wait to check it out. It's came out in 84. There's also The Squeeze I need to get my hands on that got released on Blu-ray a few, like la late last year, I believe. Then I have The Annihilators, and uh, it's in this row because I like to put uh, some of my Blu-rays face forward in the row so it looks better. It's just not rows of spines, so I could like... So yeah, I put The Annihilators there, and I did a review a few weeks back. I don't know if you've seen it. If you're watching this, uh, I'm sure you have, possibly. I don't know. Check it out. I think it's pretty good. I think I did a good job. So yeah, there you go. The Annihilators. Then we have Johnny Mnemonic, Keanu Reeves, Dolph Lundgren, a sci-fi movie that was shot right here in Montreal back in 94, 95, a cyber thriller, you know, when, uh, when the net just started and uh, VR and all that good stuff. So yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a bit dated now, but it's, you know, it's Keanu, so who doesn't like Keanu? Then we have the uh, original Judge Dredd with Stallone. Uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, a release I just got in the mail this week. It is Judgment Night. One of my favorite movies uh, from 1993. One of those, uh, it all happens in one night, one wrong turn in a neighborhood and they uh they're pretty much hunted down for the the remaining of the movie dennis leary plays the bad guy and a pretty good one at that uh it's an excellent underseen movie and it was directed by um what's his name stephen hopkins who also did um predator 2 so uh, quality filmmaking right here so yes up next we have juice who's got the juice Omar Epps, uh, Tupac Shakur, which uh, turned him into a, I guess, a movie star from this. You know, that's it was that's where he got the uh, the, the acting bug. What's so great little uh, urban drama? I'm gonna call it that. Kind of like uh, newer black exploitation, if you will. And a great, amazing soundtrack. Eric B. and Rakim is on it. So there we go. Jungle Fever. Spike Lee joint, Wesley Snipe, Annabella Shiora. I have not seen this. How come I have not seen this one? And it's from 1991. It's like my favorite movie year. And I still haven't seen Jungle Fever. So I'm going to get on that <laughs> right there. How about some B action movie with Jungle Ground? Roddy Piper. One of his many, 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 many <laughs> director video uh, movies, but it's a, it's a it's a good little one. Like uh, he, he uh, he's pretty good in it, and um, yeah, there you go, Jungle Ground, one of my favorite slasher from the early '80s, and I, I would say it's on, on a lot of people's list for favorite slasher. Just Before Dawn, uh, George Kennedy, Greg Henry is in this. Uh, released by Code Red right here and it is probably the best uh, released by Code Red I would say by far they release a lot of crap but this one in particular it's uh, quite enjoyed so there you go just before dawn An another movie I meant to watch but I've never done so California uh, I believe this came out right before, a couple years before uh, Natural Born Killer, where this still had this, and it stars uh, Juliette Lewis and Brad Pitt that were dating at the time, I do believe. There you go. Ah, uh, yes, Ultimate 80s, The Karate Kid, right here. Uh, Ralph Macchio, Pat Morita. Have you seen the TV series? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. The third season's going to be on Netflix now. 
So there you go. Can't wait to watch it. Though the season finale for season two, I thought it really sucked hard. It was terrible, terrible, terrible. All right. Up next, the Zucker Brothers with the Kentucky Fried Movie. Uh, my God, they're comedy genius, you know, and uh, directed by John Landis. So there you go. Kentucky Fry Movie. Kentucky Fry Movie. Then we have... Oh, let's see here. Let me put some... There we go. It's going to be easier for me. Kick-Ass. Aaron Johnson. Nicolas Cage. Christopher Mintz Plus. There we go. Kick-Ass. Of course, if you have Kick-Ass 1, you need Kick-Ass 2, which I have not seen. There we go. My God, some more Tarantino right here. This is the row for the Tarantino movies. Kill Bill Volume 1. There we go. Kill Bill Volume 2. Oh, my. There we go. Then we have an Australian martial arts movie in Kill and Kill Again. This is a release by uh, Scorpion Releasing. I believe there's a kill, kill again, kill or be killed, I should say, the first one. I still haven't got my hands on it. I bought the sequel and I haven't seen the first one. And there you go, but looking forward to it. Then fun little action movie from the 70s, Killer Force with Telly Savalas, Peter Fonda, O.G. Simpson and Christopher Lee. Look at this thing right here. So there you go. Killer Force. How about some more killers in Killer Clowns from Outer Space? Right here. I have the <laughs> the midnight movie version of this. When there's like four or five Blu-rays that's been released since then. A horror movie, Canadian can exploitation horror movie from the 80s that should get a Blu-ray release, but hasn't yet. Killer Party was shot in Toronto. Uh, this is a Warner Archive collection release. Uh, again, fun little horror movie. Um, uh, there we go. Another movie connected to Tarantino, and it's Killing Zoe. Eric Stoltz, uh, Julie Delpy. And uh, this was written and directed by Roger Avery, who co-wrote Pulp Fiction. And there you go, Killing Zoe. Then we have some Arnold, Kindergar Kindergarten Cop, It's Not a Tuma. It, it's Not a Tuma. There you go, Ivan Reitman. I think he directed this right after um, Ghostbusters 2. And there you go, Kindergarten Cop. Then, oh my, then. King Kong Lives, a Dino De Laurentiis, <coughs> De Laurentiis produced movie. Um, I believe it came out in the 80s. Linda Hamilton was in this. There you go. How about some Scorsese? We got some Scorsese right here. King of Comedy, Robert De Niro, Jerry Lewis. Um, you know, Joker was uh, based on this movie. He even wanted, uh, you know, Martin Scorsese to uh, to direct it, but he couldn't. So there you go, right here. Uh, Arrow release, great New York movie. The King of New York, Abel Ferreira, Christopher Walken. There you go, right here. Fun and old horror movies from the 70s. Uh, you know, if you... Uh, do not enjoy spiders. I would not recommend watching this movie, but it is Kingdom of the Spiders starring William Shatner. This is a code red release with uh, this sweet uh, Blu-ray. Uh, I mean, uh, sli slip cover. And this is the original artwork right here. Uh, yeah, it's a fun creature feature film if you haven't seen it. Then how about some Bronson? Because we do need Bronson in our lives. It is a canon film. Kinjit, Forbidden Subjects, a J. Lee Thompson film. He's done many films with uh, Charles Bronson. Uh, I, I'm happy to say I've not seen this. I'm saying happy because 
I like having Bronson movies I haven't seen yet, you know, for the rest of my life. I, I want a couple. One of my favorite from Shane Black, and it is Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, Robert Downey Jr., Val Kilmer. Uh, my God, it's a great little movie. The, uh, was it the, the Nice Guys? Yeah, The Nice Guys. It is my favorite movie of uh, Shane Black, but this comes a, a close second. And obviously all the lethal weapons he wrote and uh, the last Boy Scout and all that good stuff. So yes, and finally for this row, the eighth row, the eighth shelf, it is Kiss of Death. David Caruso, Samuel Jackson, Nicolas Cage. This is the movie he did right after he quit uh, NYPD Blue, thinking he's going to be a big star. And I'm talking about David Caruso. And uh, not much of nothing happened for a while. And then, you know, NCI, uh, was it CSI happened? But it's, it's a fun little gritty mobster uh, movie, uh, all happening in New York. And Nicolas Cage plays uh, like a deranged, per, like a deranged villain. Like he really gives his all in this one. And, uh, you know, it's uh, it's been forgotten, but uh, I enjoyed it. It was it was pretty good. So, yeah, that is it. That is it. Kiss of Death was it for shelf number eight. Um, many more videos coming soon. Uh, Half Nelson is about to be done. Uh, the series I'm posting on my uh, YouTube channel. I got a, uh, new videos I'm working on. That's going to be... I, I have a feeling it's going to be enjoyed by the masses, hopefully. So I'm working on that. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. That's about it. How about you have a, a nice weekend, y'all? Thank you for watching. Some of you out there, some of you watching right now, thank you. I wave to you. So there you go. And uh, see you next time. Bye.